through maths, history and science. And I really would love you to go and um, to check it out, really. And as well, I mean, it, it helps you, but it can benefit you and get the grades you want. Anyway, back on to math. So this is um, factorizing. No, this isn't factorizing. Sorry, this is just solving quadratics. So what you have to do is it's called FOIL. I call it anyway. And you have to do first. So first is just doing x times x, which is x squared. And then you have to do plus because it's all plus. And then you do um, outer, which is the two outer ones. So x. Ooh, whoops, x um, x times 4, which is 4x. Okay, sorry for my handwriting, it is awful. It, I'm sure you can find it hard to do in this. Then you have to do inner, 3 times x, so plus 3x. And then you have to do last, which is 3 times 4, which equals 12. Now to um, tidy this up, you have to add two ones because there's 4x and 3x, which are very, very similar. So you do x squared plus 4, time, uh, 4 plus 3 is 7. 7x seven plus 12. There we are. So as well, actually, if you uh, visit my website, I may be able to earn a bit more money so I can write a bit neater. Ooh. And that's just happened. Great. Let's just undo that. Very sorry. Okay. So this one is uh, three plus p squared. Now you can just do it that, but I'm gonna for now. I'm gonna write it all out. So three plus p, and then three plus. Oh God. Very sorry again. It is very hard to write on this. Three plus p okay so then you we've got to do exactly the same thing three times three first and that is equal to um nine whoops no, i nearly had a mental breakdown there um then you do p plus um then you can do p plus three i'm doing this in a bit of a weird or what weird order just feeling like it three p and you can do Outer, three plus b again, three p, and then you can do last again. This is a bit of an, uh, a weird ordered question, so yeah, you just don't follow the other ones. P squared. Now to suit traditional values, I'm gonna go back to how it should be. P squared plus, and then you do three plus three is six, so six p plus nine there we are right this one this is actually called the difference of two squares so we start off well you can work this out very easily actually just by looking at it straight away you can work it out but we'll fit we'll tell you about that after you go we'll go the long-winded way first so first h squared second you can do minus five times h is minus 5 h then you can do minus um then you can do whoops h plus 5 which is plus 5 h so i'm hoping lots of you are noticing a pattern here well not a pattern but a a difference of what you can do with those two hopefully i'll tell you the end and then minus 5 um times Five, so that's going to be a negative. So, whoops, that should actually be. I'll just cover that out for now. Minus twenty-five. Now, of course, this isn't um, this isn't done yet. So, what we've got to do is h squared. Now, you can cancel those two out. Minus twenty-five. So, you, as that's minus five and plus five, you can just cancel that one out. Cancel that one out, leaving that. All right, now we're going to go on to, so just look at that, pause the screen if you want to. And uh, now we are going to go on to um, factorizing. So, okay then guys, so now we're on to our second half and this is factorizing quadratic expressions. This is basically the opposite 
of um, solving uh, quadrat quadratic ex expressions. Okay, so to do this, you can see this is x squared. So that automatically means that it's going to be x on there. And I'll just close the brackets over here, leave some room. And then x on this one. So they square the um, times together to make x squared. So now what you do on this is the atx, it has to be added together to make atx. All right. So, well, or uh, subtracted together, whatever you, whatever the thing, thing does. All right. And it also has to be, these two numbers also have to be um, the product of seven. All right. So things that can make um, eight and um, they, can, they can add together to make eight. So you could have six plus two. However, in no way can you times them together to make seven. You can have eight and one. Oh, wait a minute. So what you could, uh, what you, what, what, well, no, you couldn't do that either. Um, so yeah, you couldn't even do eight and one. Wait a second. So that's my fault. Can't even do eight and one. That's me being stupid. I actually meant seven and one. I was thinking of um, the product then, thinking of the other thing. So that's definitely not the answer. There we are. Seven. 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 I've got a pen. Seven and one. All right. Make, make it a bit smaller. All right. So, yeah, and you can do that. Seven times one is seven. So you, it doesn't matter what order you go in. Plus seven. Plus one, but it could be plus one plus seven. Doesn't matter what order for now. Anyway, it, it, it wouldn't matter if that was say two x and that was x, and it would matter. But when it's just x on each side, then it doesn't. All right, next one. I shan't make any stupid mistakes in this one. But you can remember this is to be added, and this has to be uh, the product of. All right. So to make seven again, uh, this, well this one, you could have seven and one. Yay, that's good. So, but it's not actually that. But <laughs> you could also have. Well, let's see. You could have nine and two. Now, nine times two makes 18. However, it doesn't make minus 18. So now what would you have to do? Hmm. Well, what you could do is you could do nine minus two, which does make seven. That equals seven. And nine times minus two is equal to minus 18. So again, x there. And then you can do, let's go minus two. And then x plus 9. Oh, that was awful. Plus 9. Yeah, and you can remember, you can always check with these just to do a reverse operation. So for this one, you just go uh, there, and then there, and then there, and then there. All right, and that makes it. So you, And it should make it, and that'll make x squared plus 7x minus 18. And then you know you've done it. All right, so the final one. Now, you, you can probably remember this from the uh, time we did it before. It's a difference of two squares. However, this one is a little bit harder because it's a minus uh, t squared. So what you do is minus t times t is t squared, minus t squared. So we'll do minus t, thing, and then t squared. Oh, no, just t. Sorry, my bad. All right, and then you get, yeah, close brackets there. All right, and then you've got to get 49. So for, uh, the square root of 49 is 7. Now, because you do is minus t, what if, if it was just t, if it was t, um, plus t, t squared, then it would simply be t, t plus 7, whoops, um, and then minus 7, um, because it would be the difference of two squares. However, because this is minus t and this is t, then it's actually simply just plus 7 for each. Because this makes it. And I will just um, go through this again, like by this. So you do minus t times t is minus t squared. Then you do 7 plus t is plus 7. Then you do minus t plus 7 is minus 7. T, sorry, forgot the t on that. 7t plus 7t and then minus 7t. So you've got to cancel each other out, and then you do 7 plus 7 equals 49, so plus 49. That gets to 49 equals 
49 minus t squared. There we are. One, two, and recognize them. Yeah, they're the same. Right, so that's all you've got to do, and it's that simple. So please, if you've enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Won't make any more mistakes, and please check out my website. I'm stuck, GCSE Revision. So that's www.gcsc revision. Um, I'm no, so I never mistake actually. www.imstuckrevision.tk. Right, thank you. There'll be a link below as well. Thank you. Goodbye.